Today we're going to be working on a 2006 Ford F-150 and uh, what we're going to replace is the sway, the sway bar linkage and on the driver's side. Both driver's side and passenger side will be the same linkage and um, the part I'll, I'm going to be replacing it with is the uh, Value Craft uh, V1880542. As you can see here, and then the part is going to look like this. And then I'll take it out of the bag and everything when uh, during repair, and then I'll give you a better look at it. But that's what we're going to be working on. All right, first thing we're gonna do is jack the truck up and put the jack stand. Remember, I always use the jack stand just for safety because the jack may fail on you and then uh, if you have no jack stand, it's gonna fall on you. Now, we're gonna take the wheel off. Six leg nuts. And really, you don't have to take the wheel off to get to the linkage, but it just gives more room and it's uh, more visual uh, to see the, the linkage and everything. But if you don't mind laying on the ground and working from there, let's, let's see your thing. So this is what we're going to be replacing on the sway bar, as you can tell. There is no rubber bushing anymore. It's completely torn from the, the top. And then from the bottom is still is still good. And then uh, as you can see from the bottom here, that's where the other bolt is that we'll be just releasing to uh, take that, re um, exchanging that part. And here we go. So you're gonna have to hold down here, and uh, down here is a wrench where it'll fit a 15 millimeter, and that's gonna hold it in place where you can uh, take the upper bolt off, and the upper bolt is a 15 millimeter as well. So what we're gonna do is break that loose. And once we break it loose, we can actually use a impact or a drill or whatever tool that you want to use. From there, we will now make life easier. As you can tell, the upper bolt is now loose, and what used to be a uh, a rubber seal right there is now really just a flat, looks like a washer. There's supposed to be an upper one and a bottom one, and now we release the bolt, the nut from below, and you won't really see me doing it so let me get the right size it looks like you're gonna have to hold it with a 15 millimeter from the top
So on the bottom of this sway bar linkage, uh, you're gonna need an eight millimeter that's gonna uh, hold on to this part, and then you're gonna need an eight millimeter on the nut. So that's what we're gonna loosen up now. So here we are taking the, uh, the link off. So instead of re uh, releasing the other linkage on the other side out so you can uh, pull this linkage out, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the jack to press it up. Just enough where I can pull this out and there it is. Here's the old part and then I'm gonna put the new part in. As you can see, it's all torn up here. And then I'll show you the new part. All right, here's the new linkage that I'm about to put in. This is the bottom part, this is the top part. These are to, this is supposed to be in between the sway bar, as you can see. And this goes on the bottom to the control arm. So, compare this to this. And then the last of what was left of the, uh, the rubber, uh, part of uh, the linkage it, it was gone it was not even there and that's what we're going to replace all right so we're going to place this in so this top part you're going to separate the top bushing off and you're going to keep that bottom one on and then it's going to be placed inwards right here And then, of course, I'm going to have to jack it up a little more to have it fit it in. Okay, so now I have it in. I'm going to release the, uh, the jack. And it will be in place. And as you can tell, this is a, a lock nut because you can see the, the rubber uh, lock tight in, inside. So once you get it tightened, it's going to uh, lock tight itself. And then you got the larger one that also has a lock tight. You can see the white. And that goes from the bottom. So let's check if the size is the same from the old one from the new one, and it is not. Um, the the old nut was 15 millimeter. This seems like it's gonna now uh, switch to a 17 millimeter. Let me try this 18 millimeter. It might be. No, it's gonna be a 17. So down here is still 15 millimeter that you can hold the linkage 
in place and then up to the top there's going to be now a 17 millimeter and we're going to tighten that up And again, that nut has already a lock tight. So once you get it tight, it's gonna lock in place. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and lock the bottom part. Uh, let's see, this nut right here. Okay, it looks like the top nut to uh, tighten up the bottom bolt is going to be at 18 millimeter. And then I will go get an 18 millimeter socket. An 18 millimeter. And then we will tighten that up. That being said, if we can use the impact. finish off the top with the 15 and 17 and tighten that down And there you have it. You have the new uh, uh, linkage to the sway bar replaced on a 2006 Ford F-150. Uh, the same one is can, can be replaced on the driver or passenger side. Uh, not difficult at all. Just got to have the correct tool. Um, here's the bottom part. And again, this is the linkage that connects to the control arm to the sway bar. Um, please like the video and um, thank you.